Dad, have you really seen through the CCP? The CCP is so evil, yet it thrives. No one dares block it. So does that mean it could permanently maintain its rule? When the Lord Jesus appeared to work, the Roman regime tried to resist and condemn him. Such a powerful government. But weren't they destroyed by God's plague? No matter what kind of forces are out there, if they resist God and act against God, they will be destroyed by God. We can't advocate status and power, let alone evil power. As God rules everything, whoever resists God will perish. Dad, even though we know the CCP is bad, we can't necessarily see its devilish nature. Why does the CCP resist and condemn God and harm God's chosen people? The Lord Jesus said in the Bible, This is an evil generation, and this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. The Bible also says, the whole world lies in wickedness. Why does the CCP resist and condemn the Church of Almighty God? It's because the CCP fears the Chinese people's acceptance in return to Almighty God. They're most afraid of people accepting the work of Almighty God in the last days. They're afraid of all the truths expressed by Almighty God being proclaimed throughout the world and the will of God fulfilled on earth. This proves that the CCP is afraid of the truth and the appearance and work of God, afraid of the true light illuminating mankind in darkness. For the CCP knows that once the word of Almighty God is proclaimed, many will accept the work of Almighty God in the last days. That's why the CCP suppresses all those who follow Almighty God. They act perversely against heaven. They're the enemy of God, enemy of truth, enemy of justice. Dad, you've been defending them, choosing to resist God and persecute God's chosen people. That's a sin that offends God's disposition. It's destined to be punished. Those who resist and act against God will be destroyed and go to hell. Dad, surely you see this. Oh, Xiao Yi. You clearly see the causes of the CCP's suppression and persecution of the Church of Almighty God. I already knew that their persecution of the Church of Almighty God is because of Christ's appearance in the last days to save mankind. The book, The Word Appears in the Flesh, is too influential. If the CCP did not make the decision to ban them, who knows how many Chinese people would have accepted Almighty God? Think of the consequences. Anyone can see how that would be. Although, what you said about going to hell for resisting God, I don't believe it. Who has seen where hell is? What does hell look like? I don't know if God exists at all. I'm not sure God exists. Where is God? Who has seen God? If Almighty God is the true God, when the CCP condemns and attacks Almighty God, why didn't God stop it? If God comes down and destroys the Communist Party, then he's the true God. Then mankind must acknowledge that Almighty God is the true God, and even the CCP will have to worship the true God. No one would resist. But what really happened? Police from the CCP arrested believers of God. God's believers were thrown in jail, tortured, and maimed. And many of them were even killed. But did your God save them? How does this convince people that yours is the true God? I don't understand this. Is the God you believe in true or false? I think you don't even know. Aren't you being dumb? What is your basis in saying your God is the true God? Can you explain it? Dad, you have experience. Do you know nothing about God's existence and dominance? Since the creation, 
God's done three stages of work for the salvation of mankind. In the Age of Law and the Age of Grace, God began His work in Israel and in Judah. In those two stages of God's work, His words were expressed through prophets and written in the Holy Bible. The truths expressed by God in the last days for the salvation of mankind are in the Word appears in the flesh. In these three stages, God twice became flesh to do salvation work. The first time God became flesh as the Lord Jesus, who was crucified for his redemption work, it shocked the world. The gospel of the Lord Jesus spread everywhere, to every household, every home. Christianity has established churches in all countries. So many people believe in Christianity. In the last days, God has become flesh, who is Almighty God, and done judgment work. The word appears in the flesh from Almighty God is attested to a humanity. All who love the truth and seek God's appearance and work hear the voice of God by reading the Bible and the word appears in the flesh. Seeing the appearance and work of God, they determine the existence of God. Dad, since you don't know if God exists, why don't you seek and study God's work? Many non-believers agree with things like man's destiny is determined by heaven. When man acts, heaven observes. Man proposes, God disposes. Anyone with a conscience acknowledges retribution. Though man couldn't see God, he summed up these words of wisdom. He completely affirmed God's existence and domination. Those who only look for money do not seek to study the appearance and work of God. They only see money, fame, and profits in their eyes. They view status and power above all else. The Bible says that only fools would say there is no God. Dad, here's an example. All nations, races, and cities that had resisted God were eventually annihilated by God. Hey, is there any basis in that? Why haven't I seen the facts? Can you tell me the facts? Can you tell me when the CCP will fall? When God destroys the CCP, I'll believe. I get what your dad is saying. If God can destroy the CCP for the Chinese to have a good life, I'll believe. Mom. Well, let's go. Food's ready. We can talk while we eat. Dad, let's go. Dad, although you're a CCP member, an atheist, don't you believe in the will of heaven? Don't you acknowledge a person's fate determines his life? Don't you acknowledge the fact that what goes around comes around? It's enough to prove that God rules the world and mankind. For all time, nations that resisted God invariably ended up in ruin. It's too easy for God to annihilate a nation. When the Lord Jesus was at work, Judaism's leaders joined with the Roman government and crucified the Lord. Seventy years after that, Israel was punished by God. Israel was subjugated, many Jews were killed, and the Roman Empire had resisted God and punished Christians. But they got their retribution. God destroyed it. From these historical facts, we can see that those who resisted God faced destruction. They were bound to be punished and destroyed by God. Since it took power, the CCP has arrested and slaughtered Christians. The appearance of Christ of the last days, Almighty God, at work in China, has encountered more resistance. The CCP went all out suppressing the Church of Almighty God, hunting for Christ and persecuting God's people. It even fabricated rumors to malign the Church of Almighty God in an attempt to make people deny and alienate God, ruining the chance for mankind to receive salvation and dragging people to hell. The CCP's countless evil deeds and resistance to God have infuriated God. After God's judgment work in the last days, God will send disasters to destroy the evil forces of Satan and destroy the CCP so resistant to God to demonstrate God's righteous disposition. Almighty God says, 
wherever the incarnation appears, so the enemy is destroyed from that place. China is the first to be annihilated, to be laid to waste by the hand of God. God gives absolutely no quarter to China. He who defies the work of God shall be sent to hell. Any country that defies the work of God shall be destroyed. Any nation that rises up to oppose the work of God shall be wiped from this earth and shall cease to exist. Each of God's words will be fulfilled. The CCP has harmed so many believers and committed evil and brings great disaster to China. How can it not be annihilated by God? Yeah. Look at how many great disasters are happening. These are retributions for resisting God. Dad, don't follow the CCP in resisting God. The culmination of injustice is perdition. When disaster happens and the CCP is destroyed, it will be too late already. Almighty God says, My mercy is expressed upon those who love me and deny themselves. And the punishment visited upon the wicked is precisely proof of my righteous disposition and even more testimony to my wrath. When disaster comes, famine and plague will befall all those who oppose me and they will weep. If mankind wishes to have a good fate, if a country wishes to have a good fate, then man must bow down to God in worship, repent and confess before God, or else the fate and destination of man will unavoidably end in catastrophe. Dad, Mom, the word of Almighty God is very clear. Only by believing in God and worshiping God can mankind receive God's protection and care and survive the great catastrophe. Enough. You're preaching the gospel to me. As an atheist CCP member, I can't believe in God. I believe the CCP's theory is practical. If you follow them, you can become an official, get wealthy, attain power and status, and have prosperity. That's happiness. However, when you believe in God, you're on the run, like a thief. You can be caught and sent to prison. Who knows what? You can't be happy. I live for the now, not for after death. It doesn't matter. China is the CCP's realm. If you believe in God, the CCP will revoke your life. I believe in the party. It's due to circumstance. So then, I oppose your belief in Almighty God. Hey, everything's fine. Let's just eat our lunch. It's so nice that we're all together. Have you tried some of this yet? Here, eat some of this.